Good morning. It's Friday, July 22nd, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Peter's Sermon and a Very Strange Reaction. Our scripture is Acts chapter 2. People of Israel, listen. God publicly endorsed Jesus the Nazarene by doing powerful miracles, wonders, and signs through him, as you well know. But God knew what would happen, and his prearranged plan was carried out when Jesus was betrayed. With the help of lawless Gentiles, you nailed him to a cross and killed him. But God released him from the horrors of death and raised him back to life, for death could not keep him in its grip. King David said this about him, I see that the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad and my tongue shouts his praises. My body rests in hope, for you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. You have shown me the way of life, and you will fill me with the joy of your presence. Dear brothers, think about this. You can be sure that the patriarch David wasn't referring to himself, for he died and was buried and his tomb is still here among us. But he was a prophet, and he knew God had promised with an oath that one of David's own descendants would sit on his throne. David was looking into the future and speaking of the Messiah's resurrection. He was saying that God would not leave him among the dead or allow his body to rot in the grave. God raised Jesus from the dead, and we are all witnesses of this. Now he is exalted to the place of highest honor in heaven at God's right hand. And the Father, as he had promised, gave him the Holy Spirit to pour out upon us, just as you see and hear today. For David himself never ascended into heaven, yet he said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit in the place of honor at my right hand, until I humble your enemies, making them a footstool under your feet. So let everyone in Israel know for certain that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, to be both Lord and Messiah. Peter's words pierced their hearts. And they said to him and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter replied, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. This promise is to you, your children, and to those far away, all who have been called by the Lord our God. Then Peter continued preaching for a long time, strongly urging all his listeners, save yourselves from this crooked generation. Those who believed what Peter said were baptized and added to the church that day, about 3,000 in all. The second chapter of Acts always seems to grab the attention of the spectacular. It's the issue of tongues of fire, speaking in unknown languages. It centers on the apostles gathered in the upper room. But that was just the locker room where the team was getting ready for the big game, which takes place in the real arena, the lives and futures of all persons, both in first century Jerusalem and all who have ever been born everywhere. Peter would stand and preach a simple sermon the gospel message of Christ's lordship, crucifixion, and death, and resurrection. And Dr. Luke records in this text a very strange reaction. Humility. They didn't get mad at the sermon. They didn't yawn and fall asleep. They didn't scowl and fold their arms and shake their heads in disbelief at Peter's impertinence. What they did was repent of their sins, submit to the waters of baptism, and let the fire of God's Holy Spirit warm their insides and outwardly spread the joy to everyone they would meet for the rest of their lives. They became disciples. I call it a very strange reaction because we're seeing little of that humble response these days. The prevailing culture disdains humility, repentance, and faith as being antiquated and counterproductive. 
God is simply not in vogue. For you today, read Peter's sermon again, then consider what your reaction might be. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.